watching, my name is Peter Wolf, and welcome to uh, the Wolf uh, College of Coffee vlog. Uh, one of the questions I was uh, been asked a lot is, you know, what do I need to look for in buying a coffee roaster? And so that's what I thought I'd talk about today is uh, what I think you need to be uh, need to have as considerations. But uh, for the sake of transparency, um, just to declare that uh, we, uh, our business is the agent for Probat Coffee Roasters here in Australia and New Zealand, but we do provide consulting services to, to many other clients around Australia and New Zealand uh, and Southeast Asia on all sorts of different kinds of coffee roasters. So I guess the first thing uh, one needs to consider is, you know, thinking about what your budget may be in terms of uh, buying a coffee roaster um, and, and be really like any sort of solid business plan is having a really good idea on, on what kind of your capital investment strategy is going to be going in and that will then obviously help you look at obviously what will be the two different options. Batch size is important and thinking about also future proofing your business in years to come and as, as you will sort of learn that you know putting in a coffee roaster can be fairly difficult in terms of not only town planning but also all the environmental sort of um, requirements that will sit around sort of having that successfully uh, installed. Uh, so I think that's sort of the two things. So it may be worthwhile that you may look at taking a slightly bigger batch size roaster on than initially sort of thought and that will sort of future proof you in for a little bit more. I think one of the things about roasting and, and roasting on different roasters is that we assume that there is sort of this basic minimum standard of quality that, that most manufacturers can be building. And so from that, you're then going to be looking at what are the additional features that you may or may not want that are desirable for you. And that may mean things of you know, emission control. It may also mean um, what sort of automation uh, that you have or the, the, the lengths of automation. Do, I, do you want a fully automated roaster? Or do you want one that's a semi-automatic? Or do you just want burner control? And so looking at those types of software elements that sort of, and hardware elements that sort of sit with the roaster. Also thinking through, I guess, the feel, you know, do you like roasting from cast iron? Do you want to roast off a, steel, a stainless steel drum? You know, what are these sort of elements that you particularly like or sort of resonate with you as a roaster? And I think that's their really personal sort of decisions. I think also what's really important that when you consider looking to buy a roaster, also think about, you know, what's available in terms of sort of local support. I know there's been lots of discussions on a few forums about the strength of local agents and I think yes that does certainly have a level of play in all of that but the reality is that most of the parts will either come from the country of, of manufacture where the roaster is manufactured or it will be about sourcing those local sort of components. So one of the things that's uh, when you need to be looking at is local suppliers that will be able to supply not only your gas valves, your thermocouples, your bearings, your electrical contactors and your relays. These are all fairly local components. They are generally manufactured by global manufacturers, so they're fairly common parts, very similar to a lot of the um, parts that we find inside espresso machines today. Uh, and again, I've said in previous vlogs, is also understanding the relationship of having a very strong relationship with your local technician, because one of the things that's fairly important is understanding the local requirements to have the roaster uh, not only certified but serviced and so having that type B gas uh, specialist um, available to be able to maintain and look after your roaster uh, when the time's needed is very very important. So I guess to summarise um, what I would be looking for in terms of roaster would be one would be definitely the, uh, the batch capacity of the roaster. Buy what you can afford. Uh, absolutely, I think that's important. We all want you to go out and have a viable and sustainable business. So don't overextend yourself in what you need to buy. So buy what you can afford. If you can find something that's available on the second hand market, then obviously have a look at that and you may save yourself some dollars there. Um, but obviously do some thorough research on that particular unit that you do buy. Uh, I think then looking at sort of the style of the roaster, because each, each sort of roaster has its own kind of uh, feel and it has its own way that it likes to transfer energy uh, through the coffee. So working, uh, working with particular brands and trying, seeing if you can try and roast your coffee on other brands and seeing how that sort of works for you I think is very, very important. Consider obviously accessing local parts, what are basically also the uh, local uh, council um, requirements, installation requirements, emission controls, and then obviously local technical support. And I think, you know, if you really sort of do some thorough research on those, I think you can't go wrong and you'll uh, have a very uh, happy time roasting.